Aloha, and welcome to Physical Therapy for a Better Life. I'm your host, Christine Linders, Physical Therapy Specialist. Do you have dark circles under your eyes or puffiness? Are you suffering rosacea or acne? Our skin gives us signs of what may be going on inside our body. In this episode, holistic esthetician Ivy Delaney teaches us how to keep things flowing in the neck and face to keep our skin glowing and looking its best. Welcome, Ivy, and thank you for joining us. Hi, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. I can't wait for this show. I've been looking forward to it since I met you a few months back. So <laughs> tell me yeah. about yourself. Okay, well, um, I'm Ivy, and I um, am from Hawaii, and uh, I am have been an esthetician since 2007. And so... I started my career, you know, just not really sure which direction I wanted to go. So, you know, a lot of people, um, estheticians, new estheticians, they, you know, you kind of follow the norm, you do the peels, you, you do what you think um, people want, right? And so I did that for many years. And um, in 2018, my whole aesthetics career changed and it was when I uh, I went to a holistic uh, retreat in Santa Cruz a holistic weekend for es estheticians and I learned so much and it all everything that I thought that I knew for you know for the past 11 years of doing aesthetics changed that weekend and it was it was really amazing and it just everything kind of clicked and I almost had to unlearn what I knew um, or what I thought I knew about, about skin. And so I just took this different approach. Um, in 2015, I had been diagnosed with cancer. And so I, um, you know, I really wanted to do to, you know, be more holistic, you know, be more health, be healthier. And so, you know, Going to that retreat really kind of solved that. Wow. So you, yeah, with that diagnosis and then this holistic conference, how did it, like, what clicked for you that made you shift or how did it change how you do skincare? So um, I really, like, a lot of what we learned was um, about movement and movement in the face and, um, that that including lymphatic drainage, you know, so we have our lymph system that runs through our whole body. And so, you know, it's, it's talked about a lot. And so what I learned is that, you know, the lymph system actually keeps us healthy. It's, it is like what takes, let's say, garbage out of our cells and, and releases it. And so when you keep things flowing, you know, your, your body is healthy. Now the lymph system, Unlike the circulatory system, which is has the heart to pump it, it doesn't have anything to, to pump it. So in our everyday life, when we walk around, we exercise, you know, we get enough lymph movement to kind of keep things going. But in our chest, neck, and face, it's a low circulation area, right? So um, we, we just don't get a lot of movement in, in those areas. That's fascinating. So That's, I, a lot of what I learned was like, yeah. Yeah, you don't, people don't really um, realize it or, or, or even think about it or, you know, or even understand it at all. You know, I, I talk to a lot of people and it's, I can talk for hours about it, but, um, and once I start explaining it, people are like, that makes a lot of sense, you know? So it's been really a, an amazing journey and I feel like I found my niche, you know, in, in that. And so, yeah, so I do a lot of lymph work in the, the neck and face. And so what that does is it really, um, I mean, in one session, I can take away a lot of puffiness. I can contour the face. A lot of times dark circles will be gone instantly. And it's it's funny as I'm doing my facial, a lot of times I'll do one side of the face just see it you know yeah and I'm watching like just the puffiness literally like 
disappear. And actually it's not disappearing. It's just, it's really interesting and fascinating. And I show people the mirror and, you know, one side of their face is like, you know, the laugh lines, the circles, the, uh, the jawline has way more contoured. And it's almost like people are like, my face looks skinnier on this side. And it's because I'm that fluid out. That's, that's amazing. So I remember asking you all these questions while you were doing my face and I'm like, wow, this is really different. This, what are you doing and why? And I'm very inquisitive because I, I love to learn about everything. And so if, if I was going to, and since then I've kind of been trying to massage my face because of everything yeah. I learned <laughs> with you, I, I don't know what, what I'm doing, but I'm trying to move fluid in this low circulation area which you never thought right. you talk and you blink and you smile and you think there's so much movement happening you don't realize it stagnates and i know all of us men women i talk to people all day long in my job we all talk about what's happening to our face and when we're stressed and you look tired and now you look better did you rest and this is happening and that's happening and oh wait till you're 60 and wait till you're 70 and what what can we do at home to um to treat ourselves, to treat our face and neck, because this is what you see. I mean, now that right. we're coming out of masks, we're going to see more right. of it. Right, I know. What <laughs> can we do to, like, at home or, or at all to improve the circulation in this right. area? I always call it our money maker. You know, what you greet people <laughs> with is you got to protect the money maker. Yeah. You know, it's the fear face and you. Right. It's for sure. It's, you know, the first thing that people see. And <laughs> So yeah, and just to go back on something you said, and then I'll, I'll talk about that. Um, I feel like a lot of people are just, I hear it all the time. I'm just getting old. This is just what happens, you know? And for me, yes, we can't defy age. We can't defy gravity, but there are so many things that we can do to really age gracefully. And that's what I tell my clients. I'm, you know, I'm not here to, you know, make you look 20 if you're 60, but what I can do is I can really help you to age gracefully. And, you know, so I just wanted to mention that. I think that's so, that's important. That's important because we all, I know for a fact, my mom used to always say, oh, you have grandma's skin and I have, you know, she had her dad's skin and she's beautiful and she uh -huh. has aged amazingly. I look at her and I'm like, why do you look so good, mom? I can't believe it. You're, she's 79 and I'm baffled. Oh, wow, yeah. Looks like, but some of it's age. So my grandmother was 89 and had no wrinkles on her face. And, you know, and other people get it early and, and regardless of sun, I know too, just genetics. And so that is important. We're all aging. It's not a personal thing or it doesn't mean anything bad against us. It just happens. We just want to do it gracefully and, and yes. feel our best. I think it's about feeling feeling your best when you look Absolutely. your best you feel your best you're empowered and you feel more confident right 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 now yes absolutely that's that's well put um so okay so back to the question so things that you can do to um keep circulation going i always tell my clients massage your face whenever you have a chance um so like for me i i start in the morning so when i wake up I, you know, I'll rinse my face and then I, I use a, a gel cleanser. I, I don't recommend foaming cleansers for this if they're too stripping. I just have to say that. So oh, good. Either a milky or gel cleanser. And I really start, um, you know, on the neck going up and down. You know, a lot of people just wash their face like real quick. You know, I take at least a few minutes and I really start at my neck and I work up all the way, you know, and I, I really am intentional with getting things moving in the morning. We are usually our puffiest in the morning, right? So yeah. that's the way that I, my first thing that I do, you know, uh, to get going in the morning. And it actually, it feels really good when you like really take the time to have create a re routine that feels good. Um, it's a great way to start the day. So that, you know, that's a, a perfect first thing to do in the morning. This is great. And, um, and then, I, have yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I just want to tell you something. I remember I was in Connecticut and I was neglecting myself and I was talking to a patient about something and I said, oh my gosh, I used to in San Diego, I would, you know, have this routine in the morning. I washed my face, I put my moisturizer and then I came home and I did the same thing before bed and it was great. And I hadn't done that in months. And I remember telling her, I can't wait to go home and wash my face. <laughs> and I went home and I 
I just washed my face. I washed my face and I did massage it because, you know, I want to really clean yeah. everything off. But that day, I'll never forget it because my best friend jokes about it all the time. I can't wait to go home and wash my face. I felt so cared for. And this was <laughs> after work. And so I started doing it again then. So I love just watching you do this and taking a few minutes to, to massage your face. It's very, um, I don't know, it feels so rewarding to to yourself like a self-care thing something I just yeah. treated myself absolutely you know it's all about self-care and self-love and and honestly when you when you develop a routine like that you you do feel you know you feel better about yourself and yeah. you you know just doing that movement is going to bring also an instant glow when you're glowing you know <laughs> you yeah <feel> better. <laughs> yeah that's yeah, great so, okay so you you wash with the with the gel cleanser and then what's your next step yes so then my next step is i always spritz my face so um i have like a very hydrating spritz so i spritz my face um it, you know it's it's kind of a small step people call it toner um i call it spritzing <laughs> because yeah. a toner to me i don't know i just have this thing that it maybe is like contains alcohol and drying so no, 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 I, I like to just, so I have a hydrating spritz. A lot of people like rose water. Um, um, and that's that's a great thing that you can get. And so spritzing your face and then right away I put on a serum. So by um, spritzing first and then while your skin is a little bit damp, putting that serum on, it really helps to bind together and helps to hyd hydrate the, the skin. And then, you know, I my moisturizer and, I always uh, use sunscreen mm -hmm. and um, and then, yeah, that's, and I'm good, you know, for the morning. That's my morning routine. Um, that's a great uh, routine. I, yeah. I like that. I had heard that it was important to hydrate or something. I'm sorry. My cat wants to know how to take care of her. Yeah. Face too. <laughs> um, <laughs> she has a little allergies right now, so she's itching. I'll have to ask her oh. that when we're done with this show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I've heard about that. It's important to, uh, or I think I heard something like you, you put the moisture on, then you put the serum and it helps to maybe, I don't know, does it help to activate the benefits of the serum or is that just? Yes. I, I well, I think it, um, like the hydration, like what I use it, there's lots of, um, antioxidants and like plant, you know, so by pushing it together, it helps to kind of bind them both together, but it also helps um your skin to kind of hold on to that serum right okay. so if you if you apply a serum to a dry face i mean that's still good you know but it's just an extra like you know bonus to like push that into and then they kind of bind to the skin and it just feels really good oh that sounds great so now let's say like you did your morning thing and you're ready for your day and you go to work and then um you come home later like now gravity has taken a toll on our face and everything as we age and so is there like an evening limp thing to do or like i don't know like let's say i gotta have a photo shoot and my eyes are super puffy and okay. if there's certain yeah. things to do like uh yeah well the most important part i do have to say is the neck okay because okay. When you think of the, the lymphatic, um, let's say I wanted to, you know, I had puffiness and I wanted to clear my puffiness. Now, if I start doing some lymphatic work or movement, it has nowhere to go because I haven't cleared my neck. So I always, oh. you have to kind of start here and work your way up. So, you know, just doing this, here's a move that I like. It's called the Spock move. Oh. You take these two fingers like this and you kind of just pull your ear down a little bit that, that that that's helping opening the neck and i guess i should be more clear so we have a a, a really important lymph node right behind this our ear okay and then it it drains into a lymph node right in our clavicle okay oh yeah so that is the move that's where you want to go from from here and just you can do little circles down and you're moving down is that right yes and you're okay. using a feather light pressure oh, oh, oh okay i'm going okay to so a lot of people like really want to get in there so 
it's nice to get in there, but if you do, you're massaging the muscles. If yeah. you, and you're just kind of bypassing the lymph system, right? Because it's, it's right at the surface of the skin. So like when I do it, I literally like, I'm just going so slow. It's, it's kind of a slow process, but it's worth it. And just kind of going down the neck and then into the clavicle, you know, okay. and um, that's the first place to start. And you do like a, a minute or two of just like yeah. gentle here, gentle, gentle here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, um, and then you kind of like can go underneath the, the chin, you know, you can kind of do this yeah. kind of a movement just, but lightly. Feather, feather pressure. Feather and then always to your ear and then okay. drain. Oh yeah, so that it can drain here and then go down. Yes, yeah. Oh, good, 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 okay, this is yeah. good. And then like, you can just kind of go up your face, you know, like here, down. Oh, I like, this is great, Ivy. So then my my favorite part to do on my clients, because this is when I'm like, oh, the, you know, the heavens open, <laughs> is when I get to like by the nose, so these folds here, and yeah. a lot of times, um, the puffiness really just, it just kind of bags up like right here, right? And, but yeah. but you have to go near the, the nose, right? So you okay. just really, I work this probably the longest once, you know, everything else is drained and I really get in there and then I'm just slowly bringing it down, okay? And then to my And chair. then over, I like that because I would have been inclined to pull it back. Do you know right. what I mean? So we have passageways that go here. Okay. So you always want to, from the eye down, you want to go here uh, and over. Okay. From the forehead, we also have passageways along the hairline. And then you bring it to the ear there. This is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. No, it really is. Yeah. And is this something that you do every day or treat yourself to once a week or... I do it. I try to do it every day. And even yeah. if it's just like a two minute thing, you know, yeah. like when I do my, my routine, let's say in the morning or at night, I have a nice oil. I, I just, and I quickly just, you know, do a little bit. I also have a, a fun tool. I don't know if you guys have, or if anyone's ever seen like the jade rollers or I, yes, I have so many of okay. my friends that are like, here, look at this jade roller. And I saw something online once and they're popping up everywhere. My friend yes. on a trip, she just brought out her, she got it at Ross and she's like, this thing, I don't know. She's 25. She's like, I don't know. It just feels really good after I put this on my skin. So I want to know <laughs> like, what oil are you using? What roller? Hello. Yeah. So I know it's really funny because a lot of people, I, I start saying, have you seen the jade roller? Cause most people have, and they're like, yes, I have, I have one and I have no idea what to do. <laughs> and I just say, you know, get a nice face oil. So um, my favorite is by Blissoma and they have an Omega Miracle Oil, which is a miracle. And Ooh. so what I do is I, um, you know, I'll just kind of spread it around. Okay. If you have the jade roller, I mean, just go up and down your neck. Yep. Kind of just, you know, at, you actually can't go wrong with a jade roller unless you don't really want to pull. The only time you ever really want to pull down is it when you're going really light and doing lift movement. OK, mm -hmm. now the jade roller can be used for circulation. Like if you want to just go do any kind of movements, as long as you're not pulling really hard down, um, that's bringing blood flow. When you bring blood flow, you're bringing nutrients, oxygen, you know, right into the skin immediately, which we need, you know, even little movements. If you don't have a jade roller, tapping, it's called tapotment. Um, you know, all of that is bringing in blood flow, fresh lymph, fresh, you know, all of that. And we just, I had a teacher once and I, I always tell my clients this, um, and it, it's, she had a saying, it's no flow, no glow, oh. right? <laughs> So I just say no flow, no glow. And then they're like, oh, okay. You know, so just trying to get things moving. It doesn't have to be like, you know, I mean, I'm a professional. I've been, stu I've studied this. I have certifications, but, you know, for just every day, just get some movement. You know, I like to do some of this. Oh yeah. You know, I love it when I'm getting a facial. 
Uh -huh. It's always my favorite part. I do not get them very often. I yeah. every four years or something. And I always say I'm going to go more often. And I somehow I don't get on the routine. But I love at the end when they do that, you know, whatever thing with their fingers and they're doing like like what you're yeah. doing. It just it feels so good. The, the fingers. It almost feels like it's a different texture. And right. I think your skin is like, oh yeah, that's good. Like blood flow. It's like not tapping, but you get that sensation of that little lift, 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 and it yeah. feels so nice. It does feel nice, but it's also so beneficial. And it's, you know, it's it's funny. It's just not, a lot of people call that a fluffy facial. That's what I have heard in the, and I'm, I think to myself, no, that's not a fluffy, that's like, that's how you get glowing skin. That's how you remove that puffiness, get, you know, dark circles. And I'm telling you, even your texture by keeping your lymph flowing, the texture of your skin um, starts to change. Uh, you know, people with rosacea, acne, mm -hmm. by moving that lymph, that's taking, taking out the toxins out of, you know, the cells. And you just, you know, I mean, you have to kind of be consistent with it, but moving the lymph can, can take away acne, rosacea, redness, puffiness, dark circles. Those are just to like name a few. I mean, fine lines and wrinkles is too, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing. I love it. I actually was just at the dermatologist this morning. I know I have a couple of questions in mind from what you just said, but I was yeah. at the dermatologist this morning and I just had her check a couple, like my driving hand spa. And uh, she asked me for the first time, I think I've been twice, do you have any other questions? And I said, you know what? Yeah, actually, like when I wash my face, I noticed like the last two months that my forehead feels kind of rough and there's, uh -huh. I don't see anything there, but it feels kind of rough. And you mentioned okay. the texture and oh, I have yeah. been stressed and furrowing my brow and all that. And I wonder right. if I'm, I'm going to try this every day because he said consistency. I'm going to try yes. this every day to work on. I'll do here first and work on the light pressure. I'll get mm -hmm. a Jane roller, but I'm curious. I'm going to write down this day and see as I notice like the texture improve because I really, I really believe in these things. And then the loaded part of that question is I wonder, I had some friends growing up that had very bad acne and I wonder if they don't want to touch it, could they just use the roller to get some circulation or? So, so yeah, you don't ever want to be, uh, do anything on active breakouts or active skin. Um, yeah. The neck is the best place to work for that. I mean, it is for everyone, but I just, I really tell people just open up your neck, you know, and, and you, you, they can go lightly around, you know, yeah. um, just very, very light. Yeah. Light pressure. But yeah, that, again, that's bringing a lot of times acne patient or clients and rosacea, it, it, it is caused from stagnation. It's stuff that's been kind of sitting in there for a long yeah. time. And, you know, and it's just kind of, manifesting in there if you know and it's it's amazing what it can do to just bring some some flow in yeah i think that's great it's um i'm very eye opened and i think my my biggest problem as a physical therapist is making sure i go very light and i know i remember when i learned myofascial release 25 years ago they were saying to uh to massage deeply gets the superficial levels and like the light touch kind of gets the deeper, like the drainage and all that stuff. And I remember thinking, I don't understand what that means. But then as I, over the years of a physical therapy and learning more about the skin and the matrix C's underneath that the flow happens yeah. beneath, you can see how this light stuff really gets to deeper drainage and systems things yeah. versus the deep like you said deep pressure you're just massaging the muscle and yeah when you work on the lighter level i my biggest is challenge would be to make sure i go light enough like feather light feather to drain light. my lymph and not massage my muscle yes yes so it's there's two different things right yeah it's, and a lot of like i have it's a little bit of explaining like when you're going a little bit lighter and you're, you have the intention that you are moving your lymph, then mm -hmm. you can, so I always recommend doing that first. When you get all of that puffiness and that fluid out, you can kind of go in and actually sculpt the muscles. So in my facials, that's what I do. I, I move the lymph. I, I do some fascia release as well. Um, and then move the lymph. Now, now they don't have this level of, you know, 
fluid that has been kind of hanging out. Um, so I can actually go in and sculpt the muscles, like the cheekbone pop and, yeah. you know, kind of give some contour to the chin, um, raise the eyebrows. Oh, I need that. So many different things. It's really fun. <laughs> no, I love it. This is great. Um, so we have like two or three minutes left and I okay. want to know like, yeah, what else do you want to share? I know you have a tool there. I don't know if you want to get into that, but what else do you want to share with us? Anything you're so, this is great. Thank you. Well, I do have my gua sha stone, so I'll just kind of show you, you know, with a little bit of oil, if you have the roller, if you don't have either, your fingers are fine, start here. And oh, this is about how it's... you want to just move into your clavicle. That's the most important. And a lot of tight, you know, we even have lymph nodes on the back of our neck. So I tell people, open up your neck all the way around. Um, so that's, you know, a, a great place to start, um, that I think people can just, you know, like, if you want to say, oh, I can commit to that, do that for a month, you know, yeah. and then, you know, you can do some, some other movement. I mean, it is a little bit kind of want to know where the lymph glands are. There are pictures that I've showed people like follow this map. It's a little bit of a map, but it's, um, the neck is the most important part. I love that. I love that you're, I love that you're emphasizing that because yeah. I keep thinking, okay, I got to remember everything she's saying, but of course I'll watch the show right. and I'm smart, <laughs> but the neck, the neck, the neck, it is yeah. not, it's not the face, it's the neck, right. like get things uncongested for lack of word finding right. in your neck so that yeah. there can be flow in your face. It's Absolutely. not something I can think of just I massage my neck yeah. all the time in tension, but I'm not yeah. doing anything to the limb. Right. And so that's why I always say the neck, because if I started to try to tell people, oh, then you go, you know, it's it's too much. So just start there so you can commit to that. Even that you're going to get some, you're going to get results. This is amazing. Okay. So we need to wrap it up, but how can people find you? Uh, where are you? How can people come get a facial? I'm going to be booking mine right after. We're done with the awesome. Show. I know you got to come back. I um, do. So I'm in Kailua at Satori Salon and Spa. Um, and so I have a room here and I also, if you wanted to find me on Instagram, I am Hawaii underscore holistic skin. And so actually I do tutorials on there. I talk oh. a lot about this. So um, yeah, and, and different things as well. But yes, I that's kind of what my whole Instagram is about. That's great. So it's Hawaii underscore holistic skin on Instagram. And then Satori, it's yes. S-A-T-O-R-I salon in Kailua. Satori salon in Kailua and spa. Satori and spa, salon and spa. And this is love it. I go there for my yeah, face yeah. 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 yes so this yeah. is great oh well ivy thank yeah, you ivy. so much thank you oh, this has been, this lovely. been so fun i love talking about it so <laughs> thank you we'll for have to do a part two look at my face and we'll see what it looks like in a couple months and we'll okay. check it out <laughs> yes let's do it yes All and right. i have other things i can talk about as well <laughs> i would love to so thanks so much for coming and thanks everyone for joining us here okay. on physical thank you so much for a better aloha. life aloha everyone Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.